One material that is strongly recommended but not required is a sketchbook. They come in many shapes and sizes. The kind you buy is completely up to you. You can get one that's book bound like this or wire bound. The advantage of the wire bound, however, is that it allows you to really easily tear pages out, uh, which is really good for studio work. So quite often I'll do a sketch and then if I want to do a painting from it, I will tear the page out and pin it up next to my easel. Um, if I want to blow up the sketch, I can really easily do that um, by tearing the page out. Uh, plus, having the ability to tear pages out reduces the pressure of um, wanting to do a perfect drawing every single time. Um, because you can always tear it out and throw it away without damaging your sketchbook. And I find that in the nicer bookbound sketchbooks, there's a little bit more pressure to try to do a nicer drawing. And then you know, tearing pages out of a bookbound sketchbook can be kind of painful. And, um, but it's up to you. Uh, sometimes you see artists just cutting pages out without a problem. Um, what else? Um, think about what kind of media you're going to use in your sketchbook. For dry media, a sketchbook with thinner pages, 50 pound, 60 pound, sketch weight paper might be more effective. Though, uh, you can, if you're fairly light, use watercolor washes in your sketchbook do a little bit of mixed media. So this is a sketch weight paper, 50 pound, yet it holds up watercolor fairly well. However, if you plan to use lots of watercolor in your sketchbook, I recommend doing, getting a mixed media book uh, with slightly heavier paper that holds up to aqueous media, watercolor, ink washes. Um, one of the advantages of a book bound sketchbook is that you can play with the format. So you can use it like this, and then you can open up the sketchbook. Though not all bookbound sketchbooks are going to lay perfectly flat, uh, this one does. So if you go to a hardware store, hardware store, art supply store, excuse me, um, make sure that the book lays flat so that you can work in a variety of different formats. Um, sketchbook does not necessarily have to contain white paper. It could be gray paper like this. Strathmore makes toned gray paper, a sketchbook with toned gray paper, and a warm gray paper, which I have, but I don't know where it is at this point, um, which allows you to work in a variety of different techniques. Uh, use white chalk to um, elevate the values. Um, I think I'm all over the place with this sketchbook. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? Ah, well, uh, what should you put in your sketchbook? Well, um, I've got basically two kinds of sketchbooks. I've got work sketchbooks and then I've got kind of goof off sketchbooks and sometimes actually a little bit of both in the same sketchbook. Um, this particular sketchbook is mostly work related. Uh, I'm using it to make compositional studies. Here's a compositional study for a graphic novel I'm working on, rendering studies. Um, so most of the sketchbook is filled with studio work. Uh, this sketchbook, though, even though it's my studio sketchbook, is really filled with lots of nonsense. So it'll be doodles. Here I'm talking on the phone. I should probably hold this more horizontally so you guys can see. Um, playing with different colored pens. Uh, lots of monsters. Um, you know, here I'm intending a figure drawing workshop. Um, compositional studies for students. Uh, some practice. So it's a little bit all over the place. Um, more talking on the phone. There's a lot of talking on the phone here. Uh, this is probably notes for a class that I'm going to teach at some point. Um, so uh, it could be used for a variety of applications. Here's the most important thing. Um, if you have a sketchbook and keep it around with you at all times, it will allow you to sneak in a little bit of drawing here and there throughout the day so that over the course of a day you can put in an hour or two of practice and then that accumulates to hours and hours per week. That's really, really important because we all lead very busy lives. Um, if you're only working in your studio, that can be kind of limited. However, if you have a sketchbook next to you and also your favorite drawing materials. So for instance, I've got my little carrying case filled with my favorite stuff here. Um, kind of like an everyday carry, something I grab with me every time I go. So if you've got a sketchbook and you're drawing materials with you at all times, you can, if you're sitting at the dentist's office or on the bus, put in a little bit of drawing. And sometimes your very best ideas, visually, uh, come from working in your sketchbook and putting down some kind of doodle and then realizing, oh my god, this is 
absolutely brilliant. Not that this is, I'm just kind of giving you an example. So here I'm in some auditorium, I think this is a graduation ceremony at some point, and I'm doing little doodles with my different pens. Um, here I was sitting on a metro. Um, so it allows me, even though I'm really busy, to be constantly drawing. That's number one. So uh, all of you will be assigned homework. Don't worry, I'll assign homework every, every single week. Um, so you're going to be doing homework a few hours per week. However, that's still not enough really to make progress. To make progress, you should be drawing all the time as much as possible. And having a sketchbook will allow you to do that. It'll create the impulse in you to, to draw. That's number one. Number two. Your artistic development, where you find your visual voice, where you explore what you want to say as an artist, happens in your sketchbook. It doesn't really happen in the classroom. So hopefully I'll inspire you uh, to create all kinds of beautiful work, but really that's an exploration. Those are decisions that you have to make on your own. And again, once again, they happen in your sketchbook, not in the classroom. My role, as I see it, as an instructor is to give you tools, to give you vocabulary to give you the tools to express yourself. How you express yourself, what you do with those tools is up to you and those decisions happen in your sketchbook. So without a sketchbook, you might develop in terms of skill, but you're not gonna develop artistically. You're not gonna develop your individual voice. You're not gonna figure out exactly what kind of cross hatching you like, what kind of pens you like, what kind of subject matter you tend to be attracted to, you tend to enjoy creating. Uh, so. Um, the sketchbook is something that I really strongly police in my physical classes, but uh, in this online environment, it's really untenable. Uh, I can't be looking at your sketchbooks all the time, or at the end of the semester, have you guys send loads and loads of pages. So um, I'm just going to go by the honor system. Uh, please buy a sketchbook. Please work on it as much as possible. What you put in is completely up to you, so long as it's drawing, and so long as you're experimenting with different media, um, I recommend half the sketchbook be somewhat observational, half the sketchbook be from imagination, so you're practicing drawing from imagination. I recommend playing with line drawing. I recommend practicing your shading. Uh, definitely practice the stuff that you're learning in, in the class uh, to reinforce all that information. But really, your sketchbook shouldn't look like classwork. Um, it should look like things that you would do without my supervision or any instructor supervision at all. Um, okay, uh, so I'm gonna recommend various brands uh, in the materials list, but look, it's really up to you. Uh, and I'll, I'm sure a lot of you already, because some of the classes that I'm teaching are advanced, already have a sketchbook and are keeping it, and this entire demo is completely useless because you're, you're already doing it already. However, if not, start the sketchbook journey, because really, I don't know of a single serious artist who doesn't have an obsessive sketchbook pra practice. Um, this is just about the most important aspect of your artistic development, keeping a sketchbook.